guys, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome back to The Walking Dead. Uh, so, I know it's been a while since we've actually uploaded one of these. I've just been really busy. Is it just me, or is September flying by? I swear. I have my nutmeg and spices candle burning. I have a pumpkin spice latte. I am basic. Let's get into the let's play. Um, I'm super excited to play. Cause... Hey. Oh. How you doing? Don't talk to my girl. Just stay away from her. Excuse me, son? I heard you told her she was gonna die. That she was gonna end up like Duck. Why'd you go and do that? Cause she is. I don't know much We've about We've seen you this folks, already. But I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. That y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? We do what's best for Clementine. Oh, well then, you do have it all figured out. Never mind. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. She's a little girl. And she'll die a little girl if you treat her like one. You gotta consider her a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy. You ain't strong or smart. You're alive. Look at her hair. Mm -hmm. You got her running around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plant, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. Wow. Sorry to hear that. No one to blame. You're homeless then? Eh, suppose. I've had homes here and there, and well, they just don't work out. I like a drink, you know? Yeah. Got any? No. Darn. <laughs> I shot the kid, you know. I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. Got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there. About whether or not you folks want company. Be safe up here. You betcha. Alrighty. It'll be good to get to the water. Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land once we get to Savannah. There's one right there, but... Mind if I get by you for a second, Kenny? Can you just leave me alone? Alrighty. Um, he's obviously not in a good mood. You know, I don't expect him to be. What's wrong with Ben? Hey, Ben. Hey. Aren't many of us left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude if he sticks around. <laughs> We're all homeless. You know what I mean. There's not much use in describing people by who they were. Yeah. I guess not. Carly didn't have to die, you know. She would have killed me instead. Yeah, maybe. See you. Yeah. The door to the boxcar. Okay. Let's go back in here. Uh, there's a bottle of liquor right there, so let's go ahead and grab that. Some whiskey. 
It's a fifth of whiskey. <laughs> um. Let's go ahead and look in his backpack for some scissors. That's what we they need. Look clean enough. And then we're gonna come over here and talk to Clem. Hey, Clem. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you. But there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, mm -hmm. sweetheart. Okay. What should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and, uh... Tidy up a little, so you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. <laughs> you need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? <laughs> Got it. I mean with one of these. First, don't be afraid <laughs> of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? When you're ready to shoot, make sure you're not breathing too hard. And then hold your breath right when you pull the trigger. Like when I'm swimming? No, just for a quick second. I found that if I did that, it's a <laughs> lot more accurate. It's tough, but it'll help. I can do that. Okay. Alrighty, so we're gonna teach Clem. Good. Don't lock your elbow. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. <laughs> Nice and easy. Nice and easy. You okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? <laughs> yeah, you do. Alrighty, uh... Uh... Keep it steady. Steady now. Almost got it. Okay, a little higher. Oops! <laughs> I'm such a fail. A bit to the right. Close. Now keep it steady. Okay, am I terrible or what? Close. Now keep it steady. Aim lower. There you go. I got it! Excellent. Good shot. Wow, I suck. <laughs> Let's do it again. Okay, aim a little bit more to the left. Aim a little higher. There we go. There you go. Nice. And I think she does this one by herself. Yay. I did it! Yeah, you did. Good job. I was holding my breath, and the gun didn't shake so much. See? <laughs> you did good. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay. I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh-uh. Hmm. <laughs> Alrighty, now it's time to go my break the hands news. Hurt and my ears have noise in them. Like You'll get used to it. <laughs> so you're probably not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? <laughs> Are you saying it smells? No. Because <laughs> it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it, and I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. Aww. A 
Okay. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. For those don't who don't know, know, it's a good thing. Like a girl's hair is her everything, so this is like a big deal, you know. This is so cute, do you though. You know how to do this. How hard can it be? I'm going to look like a boy. Shush now. <laughs> so you did kill someone before. Yeah. You could have just told me. I wouldn't have been afraid of you or anything. I'm sorry. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. So yeah, we're cutting a lot of her hair off, but... Killing is bad no matter what. But you do it now to protect yourself. And to protect me. It doesn't make it good. But you have to. I do it because it's necessary. Walkers aren't people. Okay, I think I'm about done. I can probably tie these pieces back with something. Here, I have some hair thingies. You hair do? thingies. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There, all set. Alright, so she has like two little piggy tails now. Aww. Does it look dumb? <laughs> no, you look cute. And a lot harder to grab. <laughs> she looks adorable. She's so sad though. Um, okay, so we are gonna go back up front. And uh, give this whiskey to our people. Hey, Ben. Hey. See you. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Hey, Ben. See you. <laughs> That's perfect. All right. So uh, go ahead and give him uh, this uh, whiskey up here. Well, the girl can shoot. It doesn't have to be pretty. Probably will be, before too long. I found this if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? Ah, uh, no, we're no, good. I'm fine. Suit yourself. Anybody in there want to share a drink? You let them know. Will do. I, I'd rather have Lee be a be a little role model. Hey. Yeah. Um. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some. <laughs> yeah. He's got the stuff. Alrighty. Yeah, so this is um. That'd help. This is our opportunity to go ahead and grab those maps right here. Um, so, yeah. Thanks. No problemo. So, we're going to come over here and give Clem. It was me. Oh? Huh? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. What for? Why the hell would you do this? They said they had my friend, that he was with them. By the time I realized they didn't, it was too late. They said they'd kill me, kill all of us. I'm sorry, Lee. You still want to talk to me? I don't have a lot of choice, unless you're going somewhere. I... I guess I'm not. What are you doing out here? I, uh, couldn't be back there anymore. I needed some air. Anything else? I was thinking about talking to Kenny. I guess not. 
I'm dead serious about you keeping your mistakes to yourself. I can tell. You get why, right? I guess. You better. See ya. See ya. Yeah. So he was the one who caused all of that. Good job. Good job, Ben. Alright, let's show Clem the map. Hey, Clem. Hi. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're gonna do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Good. We need to help find a boat. It's our best bet at safety. Okay, but we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. I know. Look. No, I don't care about safety. I care about finding them. Okay, we'll look for them. Really? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. Let's look at the map. If we can figure out where they were, we can start there. Okay, let's. <laughs> Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. We're gonna want to look for a boat here, I imagine. And from there, we've got all the savannah to the southwest of us. Now we've got a good chunk of savannah here. What do you think? They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm. Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. There are a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and... Maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's <laughs> called the M... M something Mar. Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. <laughs> Can I tell my parents? You know. Sure. Go ahead. All right. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. She's so cute. And you're a good little chef. Thanks. I guess we should see how far- Oh shit! Hold on everybody! Were you guys holding on? <laughs> oh no! Maybe we could walk? That's fucking stupid, Ben. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Mm, I don't know. I ain't got much experience with y'all's fortitude, but we could probably deal with that. We got a goddamn train. That thing's not full of milk, Charles. That's gas or diesel. Something that's gonna explode. You gotta get a hold of yourself. This a crew here. This ain't shit. This. Yo, you keep screaming like that and you're gonna get your face chewed off. Civilians. You guys gonna be trouble? Because we could have just kept walking. No, we're friendly. Put your hand down, kid. That's what everybody says. We know. Let's give these guys a break. We'll see. You guys got a problem with your train? Yeah, you're standing right in front of it. Dude, it's a wreck. It's not so bad from up here. Send your buddy up to have a look. Anything goes sideways up there, we won't let them escape. Alrighty. So let's go uh, meet these people. If I come up there, you better not be murderers or thieves. I guess you'll have to find out. <laughs> A group of guys is what we need. They're what you think we need. We're doing fine. For now? What about when... Stop it. Hey, dude. I'm Omid. Lee. Krista. What's the deal with the train? We're driving it. Oh, man. 
Hey, I'm not gonna bullshit you. Our group is a little fucked right now. We had a bite victim, then his mom took her life, and before that, just... It's okay. Oh, shit! God damn, you guys have a kid! What are you doing up Why here? Why are you so happy about that? Do you that? know how long it's been since I've seen a kid? Shit! What's Omid? your name? Omid? Clementine. Oh, so he gets to swear. Oh, this is great! See? <laughs> Things are looking up. You're not her dad. He down there? It's that obvious? To me. And no, he's not down there. Huh. What's your story? I came across Clementine alone. First day all of this happened. I was actually incarcerated. Sick. Do you have any prison tats? I, uh, didn't make it that far. And everybody down there, they're cool? <laughs> ben is young and stupid. Ben's young and stupid, and I think harmless. The first two things you said don't really go with the third. I know. We just have to keep an eye on him. No sweat. It's been rough for everybody down there. I'm sure you can say the same. We're sorry for anything that's happened to you guys. That train is awesome, though. That tank is your real problem. We'll help you with it, but if we see anything we don't like, we're moving on down the road. Alone. We'd appreciate the help. You can't just blast through it, I guess? If you could get it down, the rest would probably be pretty easy. We'll start there. We'll come down and settle in and see if we can help. Alright, uh... Look at this generator. It's empty. Let's open up this. Rescue. Service truck. And we, uh... Got some tape. That's about the only useful thing in here. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Use the hitch. There's no way I'm pulling anything apart down there. <laughs> this thing is mangled to hell. No releasing it. No nothing. All right. Uh, see what else we got. Hmm. We'll go ahead and head down. Guys, this is Omid and Krista. Not big on welcomes? Like I said, it's been a bit of a day. We just wanted to say hi and say your train is pretty cool. But we are not looking for charity. The plan is to cut that tanker down and be on our way. Seems like plan enough to me. You want to start in on that tanker? I'll get to know the girl for a minute, if you don't mind. And why don't I show you how this thing works, in case something happens? Really, Ken? It's probably for the best. Someone might want to have a look inside of that station back there, too. Sounds great. Let's do this thing. All right. Um, mm, Lee and Clementine. I think I want to go talk to her. And you see interrogating this woman for us? See if we yeah. can go over there. She set off any alarm bells. Not yet. She's very thorough. That's what I like to hear. Or not. <laughs> Actually, yeah, let's go. Can I follow you over there? You don't like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah, all right. Come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything. Survivors inside. Okay. Just um, a bunch of signs right here. Where's Clem? <laughs> she, she worries me. She's so cute. Hmm. No entry. Trespassers will be prosecuted. You should wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, luckily, it's locked. We'll get better at working together. <clears throat> uh, 
Hmm, won't burn. The window's open up there. Maybe I could look in? Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. Okay. Okay, I can see in. What do I do now? What do you see? Lots of crates and stuff. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. For real? I think so. <laughs> For real? <laughs> well, I'll be damned. <laughs> She's so cute. Let's go. Be careful. I'm supposed to take. Alrighty. Ooh, so many exciting things happening, new people, discoveries, and finally, finally, we're wrapping up the whole train thingy, even though we have to get this huge truck out of the way. It's exciting. We are going to go ahead and explore this room and then end it so here. Tell you that. Damn, it's dark in here. Maybe I can hold the door open? I don't like that. I'll prop it open with something. Um. Wish that thing was in my hands instead of over there. It's too dark otherwise. All right, that works. Um, let's go ahead and explore. Locked up good. Okay. What do we have in there? That's exactly what we need. Over there? Yeah. We need to get in there and get that blowtorch. They didn't have much business back then. Okay. So we need to find a way in there. It's locked up good, but there's some space at the top. We're lucky I'm so little. Here we are. <laughs> oh, awkward. I'm so sick of Skype. Oh! There, but... okay. We're lucky I'm so little. Here we are. <laughs> okay. There's some space Oops. up there, but not much. We're lucky I'm so little. Here we are. You're so cute. Alright, let's go ahead and boost her up there. You okay going over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Come on, scoot. Behind you! Fuck! No. Okay, it's okay. Everything's fine. Oh, you guys. <gasps> Clem! Clem! Keys, now! so good no it did not go so good but we're okay everything's okay <laughs> what's going on i thought i heard a gunshot we're fine we 
We found some walkers. You and an eight-year-old versus three of them, huh? We handled it. Yeah, it looks like. What if you hadn't? But we I'm did. I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. That's a good idea. I hope you know what you're doing with her. Me too. For her sake. Okay. Anyways, I'm sick of everybody doubting Lee so much, you know? We got it. Well, let's go outside now. What did we learn? I'm not ready for a gun. No. You just have to learn to pull the trigger. It's so hard. Don't think. Just do it. Live with what happens. I'll try. It's hard, you know? She's... A baby you know she's eight she she doesn't think you know let me just shoot this walker right in its damn head you know what I mean I love her I love her you guys <laughs> I found a blowtorch in the station should make quick work of the coupling up there excellent I'll come up there with you to have a look. Excellent. All right, so it's time to figure this bad boy out. Shit. What's up? The hose has a leak in it. Turn it off, dude. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. <laughs> Better plug that leak with something. Tape. Hope this holds. Alrighty, let's do this. That's crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Oh, thanks. No sweat, man. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut and it'll go. I can't reach it now. Damn it, it was just about done, too. Crap. Here, the weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. You think it'll be within mine? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. The hell you are. He does it. <laughs> God, you're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? Shut up and start cutting. Oh no. <laughs> Guys, there's something coming. What the what? There must be thousands. We gotta go. Fuck. Omid, cut, cut! Yam! It's going! Pull me up! Alrighty. Kenny, go! Oh my god. Shit! What the hell do we do now? We gotta run! Smash to hell. Shit. We gotta jump. What? No way. Guys. Have it your way. I will. You son of a. Ah! Oh! Shit. Ugh. Me? 
I, I thought I could get home. them both. Fuck! You piece of shit! She's a woman! <laughs> Don't you know? Boy, look at your girl go, okay? It's okay, honey. I'm okay. <sighs> Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> that was a lot of them. Are you hurt? No. We're okay. Speak for yourself. My leg is fucked. We're fine, Clementine. We're fine. Omid, would you rather be with them? No, you wouldn't. So please cry me a river. Justin Timberlake, all the way, all day, every day. Okay? Here we are in Savannah. Very exciting. She drew Kenny, I think. Oh, it was Kenny, Kaja, and Duck. Oh. Next stop, the Atlantic. We have to find a boat. We just have to. We will. It's gotten too bad, you know? You, me, nobody can take all this. But we have. What we're supposed to do isn't clear anymore. I'd give anything to go back to fighting over the motel. <sighs> me too. I'll leave you to your thoughts. She's out cold like I've never seen. right here and you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not now what I need holy shit oh I thought that fucking thing was broken so did I well it sounds like somebody knows where we're headed who the fuck I don't know but I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out Real question is, who are we going to be killing? One there. We're almost at the river. You want to get on a boat? Or you want to wait around till the walkers figure out we're here? We need to focus on finding a boat right now, Clem. Like we talked about on the train. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're going to have to carry him. Or leave him. If I were you, I'd get out of the street. Now! Who the hell is this? Answer me, damn it! So when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Who have you been talking to? You come back here, I'll kill you. You understand? I will kill you! Alright, so, um... That's the end of episode three. Um, so let's go ahead and read our statistics. Um, us and 59% uh, percent of the players did not shoot her. Um, me and 42 of the per 42 uh, percent of the players left Lily behind. I left her behind because this is my second time playing this game. And I know how it happens if we leave Lily, um... Well, we take her with us, so, yeah. Um, and did we fight Kenny? Me and 55% of the players fought him. Uh, did you shoot Duck? Me and 79 of the players, 79% uh, of the players uh, shot Duck. And me and 55% of the players helped Omid. Uh, 
So, honestly, I thought I could only help him, but anyways. That is the end of episode four. I, I mean, episode three. I hope you guys enjoyed it. In episode four, we are finally in Savannah. That is where Clementine's parents were staying. We got to find out who the fuck, sorry, excuse my language, who is calling Clementine on the walkie-talkie. Something's wrong. And, you know, she's oblivious. She's eight. She doesn't know better. So, um, next episode is a lot a lot happens um probably not as much as episode three but a lot still happens and we're gonna meet quite a few new people and um it will be interesting so i hope you guys stay tuned and i hope you guys enjoyed this part love you guys so much bye guys